so sorry. You know, I had a dog when I was younger, and when she died, I was devastated. Why does Aunt Peggy need cheering up? Because Pencil died today. That's a lot to process. D-E-A-T-H. I love my dog as much as I love for you. But you may say my dog will always come. The year is ours, is it? Good. It's about time I got recognised for the kind of work that I do. I sit through hours of talkies, chewing on countless jambones, trying to muster up cute little witticisms. Do you know how draining that is? Pencil's a cute name for a dog, but rather degrading. We're not objects, or foods, or adjectives. Dogs deserve a title. Mine is a Charles Arthur Duke of Hearts. This film is not for everyone. It is for people who like hilarious, awkward indie hit films. But the sudden change in tone may lose the audience. Molly Shannon plays a deliciously quirky character, Peggy, who loses her beloved beagle pencil in a tragically evil overdose. I smell an eerie parallel to the menu foods recall. No? Just me? Okay, I digress. Once pencil croaks, Peggy is left to fend off feelings of inadequacy, a desire to have a meaningful life, and her intense fear of loneliness. She bumps into potential mates only to be sorely disappointed by their shortcomings, i.e. perversion, celibacy, indifference, etc. She witnesses the happiness of those around her, including her brother's hilarious, ne'er-too-safe approach to parenting, and learns that she was better off with dogs than people all along. Ha, one for us. The film raises a lot of curious subtopics, i.e. euthanasia in dog shelters, animal cruelty, dogs prone to violence. My morals were all over the place during this film. I was pleasantly amused throughout until an unusual, shocking twist left me thinking, was that genius or just a transparent, premeditated move to make this film more multidimensional than it was? Peggy transforms from a careful pushover to a fanatic do-gooder who managed to do more harm than anything else. This I like. I'm all for character arcs, but a dramatic change like this can lead to a very complicated ending. I'm still waiting for the ending of this film since there was none in sight. I don't like neat, happy little endings, but I also don't like flighty, airy and ambiguous ones. Standout performances from Peggy's blah boss, played by John Pice, and her painfully judgmental sister-in-law, played by Laura Dern. Three and a half pencil wheels. Baby, I 